Hey everybody, this is Danielle and this is my summary so far using the Crypto Hopper. Well, right now we have all these coins just active right here. Everything in that circle is active. Pivx, Qtum, Power, SC, Ardor, ARDR, Vib, Storage, Waves, and VRM. So you see all the positions are here. Now you see some of these positions have been here for a minute because coins been down for the whole weekend. Okay. So the minute coins come back up, then they will sell. Now I did have some sales today because um and this is the messages when um it buys you know I have a mount and then I have a maximum amount that they can use on the buy so we still on our subscription bunny trial so you get 30 days to try this figure it out you know configure it figure it out what you gonna do okay so it's not bad because as you see we started you know with some test money on Beatrix so we started balance with 0 0.01269312 and how much is that I think I pulled it up already that was 112 US dollars okay and now we're at let's look at this number this is how much assets I have on Beatrix right now and let's put that number in and see where we at. We came from 112 to uh, 241. Not bad. Okay. So that's where we at right now. Okay. So we up 115% from what we started it. Um. So you see these are in, in ready to go. I usually don't. Let me move this thing. I usually don't um, sell them myself. I just let them sell. Especially when it's in the red. It's not going to sell anything until it comes out the red. So I just leave it alone. Okay. Um, let's look at the trade history over here. Now they have videos to tell you how you're going to set it up. Now the videos they have on here, which is the tutorials right here, is going to give you the basic setup, how to connect the API to your exchange. Follow them videos and you can get it all hooked up. But when it's time to configure, go to YouTube. Find a YouTube person doing Crypto Hopper and see what their configurations are. That's what I did. <laughs> okay. So here you go. This morning it bought Dent right here at 11 a.m. and then it let's see what did it do okay so the total I spent on dent is let me put that number in so you can see the total I spent nine dollars seventy one cents so that's the total I spent and when they sold it, they sold it at this price, which gave me a 1.98% um, profit. And this is just test mode because I don't have the money high. So, you know, it's just going to be some change, but it's going up. Okay, so that was 971. And then we went up a couple of, you know, a couple of cents, 990 before they sold it. Now, that's just the settings I have right now. So. If I had more money, it would have been more money, you know, whatever. But right now we're on the trial, and I don't think you can put as much on the trial. Because we're still on the trial. We haven't bought the subscription yet. Um, let's see. Then they bought some Vib. And then we had Storage. Pivx was bought. Now right here, they sold some Vib. And I got a $1.80 off of that. And you notice all these numbers are the same when they buy in the same amount of money. And um, and this is where how I got the percentage set. That's how it sells. So you got to do your configurations right here. Um, then they buy. And then they sold. This one, 
this one was in a negative when it sold. So that's the only one really. Really, I, I, have, I don't have too many negatives. This is a dot 1.3%, 2.92, 1.3, hit off 4.96. Now, this was pretty good. So let's see when they bought Quantum. That's Quantum. Let's see if I can find the buy. Here yeah, it is. Buy Quantum. Then they sold Quantum again. But they bought it and then they sold it. So they bought it at the same price as usual and then they sold it and let's see what that is uh, 10.19 so that's not too bad a dollar something I made on that one <laughs> but see you have so many it all adds up you know what I'm saying these small percentages so you see how many pages of stuff I've done, done since I started this and I think I started this on the 2nd or 3rd of February so I still got a little while to go on this on this 30 day try. Um you see all the oh that go fifteen percent. Where did I get fifteen percent right here? It's power. I got fifteen percent and I got fifteen point thirty on that one. So let's see how much is this. We know how much we buy it for. We just gonna see how much they sold it for. See, that was eleven. That was eleven dollars. So I made a couple dollars off of that trade. And then this one is several dollars off of that trade. So off of these two trades, I made like four dollars or something like that. And then here go another one here. And this is like all this is in the same day the six the six the six this is the six so all these trades are in the same day then i have a couple more i have some more some more trades and there you go and i started two two that was my first my first one so i started the beginning of the month so i still got a little ways to go which is practice time oh. Uh, so there you go so we doing we doing okay for a little bit of money we had in there to work with we started with a hundred and some dollars and now we got two something so we just kind of just been messing around that's all <laughs> so right now you know what's the last thing is so it's so to um the dent and well I only had it for a minute because it got the dent it bought it at 11 a.m. and got rid of it at 18.07 a.m. I mean 11.18 and then they bought it at 11.11 so 11.11 they bought it at 11.18 so only had it like 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 6 minutes 7 minutes and then it sold it you see because this is what they bought it at they bought it at this rate and then it went up to this rate and this is where they sold it at at that rate because that has something to do with my percentage that is set with my configuration you know because I didn't really have a lot of money in there so of course I am not going to set it high because I really don't have that much money in it so these are the coins that right now you I don't even get 15 over here so these are the 15 that it's doing I guess when you get a prescription, the prescriptions are like low $19 a month and goes up. So I guess it depends on how many you can do. But right now you can do 15 on a trial. So these are the coins I have over here. You know, sometimes I change them out if I want to change them out. If I see something else over here that I'd rather have and I change it out to another coin. I didn't know they had steam over here. Ain't nothing happened with this. Um, usually, I go over here if I see a coin that nothing happened, <laughs> nothing's been happening with, and then I just change it out. Um, like the Lisk, I haven't seen anything happen with Lisk, so maybe I change it for Steam. <sighs> Let's see, so Steam is over here. So now Steam is on the list of you know call outs. 
um, this percentage percentage profit into percentage profit you want to make on each hop when, whenever a coin goes over this percentage it will be sold so when my coins go over 25 percent which I have it on it's supposed to be so when it goes over 25 percent now but since I'm doing a little bit of change let me see something let's see we're only doing like nine dollars and 71 cents or something like that times 25 percent that's like 242 so that's like two dollars forty two cents so that's just about you know and then I have it set um, I had the trailing stop loss on and that means see anytime you want to know what something means hit the question mark enable trailing stop loss this will track the currency price and will consistently be the stop loss percentage of the highest price read more about trolling stop loss in our knowledge base see they got the answers they were like you only have to think hard okay <laughs> so trolling stop loss percentage this is what i got off of youtube so i just said it what they had it which is 1.5 arm trailing stop loss i said it three use trailing stop loss only okay oh you know what that's why the percentage ain't right because I shouldn't have had this on because this disable, disables the percentage profit. I was going to say that ain't 25%. <laughs> so let's take that off and see what it do. Because you know this is a free trial. We, we experiment <laughs> with, with the configuration. So we're going to take that off because you know I just noticed that. Said that. Hold asset when new target is the same. Okay i leave that on. Auto close positions within time. Okay. Close percentage after X amount of time. So I put after a month because I really don't want to close the position real fast because I might close it at a loss, you know. So we just leave it at one month. Max open time for sale. So we're going to leave the sale. If it sits there on open trade, at least 30 minutes, you know, a week. Max open time buy, which means um, the number of minutes. A buy order may remain open until the order is canceled. And so we left that at um, 10. I should have put that on 32. Okay. No, I should put that on a little. This not 10 minutes is long enough. Shoot. If it, nobody bought in 10 minutes, that's long. Max open position, which means the number of maximum open positions your hopper may have. The more open positions, the longer the hopper needs for each run. So I put 20. It can have 20 open positions. Max percentage open position per coin. Enter the percentage of open positions you you want to have maximum of each coin. For example, if you have 100 positions and have a percentage of 20, then you will split the portfolio over five coins. I think I got that off of YouTube what they had it set at. Percentage by amount. Let's see what this means. The percentage from your total amount in assets or of your maximum allocated amount. For example, if you have one BTC in total and have a percentage of 10%, then the hopper will buy positions of 0 0.1 BTC. Advise between 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 for 1%. Please enter one. Okay. Minimum BTC amount order. So that's why I got set at 002. 002 is, let's go over here so you can see what it is. That's $17 will be my minimum. And then maximum is set at. $25. 
26. So that's where it's set at right now. And then I put the notifications on, and that's it. I'm gonna hit the save because I changed something. And then you save it, and you got your configuration. And then your configurations are config. Now that I took that thing off, I'm gonna see what it do because. I was wondering why it didn't feel like 25% <laughs> when I had changed it for 25% before, but I didn't know I had that thing on. So we, um, we gonna, you know, check it out. But these are my settings right now. This is what I got. I'm on Beatrix. I'm on the Beatrix Signal Hopper. And this is what I got so far. I'm gonna slow it down so in case y'all wanna just copy the configuration. Okay, slow it down. And I'm it. I got the strategy on multiple TA factors. Now the strategy is choose a strategy for your hopper. The default strategy is multiple TA factors. So I just leave it on default. Okay. And then the number of targets to buy. Okay. If your strategy finds more than one target to buy, you could enable it to follow multiple targets. If you configure three and the hopper finds four targets, it will buy the first three targets. Sorted by the number of indicators and buy signals it has hit. Maximum, maximum is ten targets. I think I might change that too. Let's be dare. Let's see what it does with five. Okay. You know. Okay, now the percentage of profit we did that the user ticket rate would be with the user ticket rate config, you can configure which ticket value is used for buys and sales. If used last ticket, if higher is selected, the sell buy price will be last ticket value instead of the bid ask if it is higher or lower. I leave mine on. Um, I need mine on highest bid, lowest ass. There you go. And the percentage lower into the positive example for a lower bid. If you want to systematically make lower bids for your buy orders, you can enter percentage here. We left it blank because we're not doing that. Okay. <laughs> and the same thing here. We left it blank. We left this stop loss watch out off. But we put the trailing stop loss watch out on. And then we fill in the rest of the numbers, put those on, and these are the rest of the numbers that we set, and then we hit save because I changed some. There we go. Save it. So that's your config. So when you go to config, now as far as picking the signal people, you have to come to signals. Okay. And these are the different signal callers. Okay, right here, see where the subscription is free. Some of them are free. This hamster is six bucks, just six bucks off of your PayPal if you want it. And But they got free ones. Free, free. I think I got all the free ones on. But the one I get the most signals from, I have this one on an app on my tablet. Okay, um, this one is a $10 paid one. This is free. Um, this is free, this is free, this is free. And Crypto Grower just came on here, but that's $5 for Crypto Grower. And um, so, you know, I think I got all the free ones on except for this one. But I haven't really seen signals from <laughs> the other ones. The only one I've been seeing a lot of signals, all my signals basically from is um, um, this one. Where is it? Uh, what's it? One of these. What is it? Coin Pulse. Coin Pulse been giving me mostly all my signals. Um, so we can look at that. Let's go back to the dashboard. Um, and I guess you can see where some of the signals come from by looking at the info. Um, when the info come up, you can see signal pulse buy trigger came from them so like a lot of all a lot of my triggers is coming from them like basically all of them because I haven't really seen signals from the other ones it's been this signal pulse you know they all on but 
I've been seeing those signals. Maybe now that I cut that other thing off, maybe I might see signals on the other one. Because we know we just testing this out. And then you can individually set the percentage on each one. Like if you want to set the percentage profit, like this is 10% right here. And let's say I want it to be, I say, oh, I don't want it to be 10%. I want it to be 25%. So then I can save it. And then this will be my target rate. Is change it. And then if you want to hold the position, you can hold it. So it won't get sold. You can do that if that's what you want to do. Or you can leave it off for them to sell it when they want to sell it. So... So now I change this one to 25%. Now I think you could do this in bulk too. So you can hit this little square. So let's say I wanted all my set my percentage. I hit the bulk action. All my percentage set at 25. And then it's done. So we should go to waves and the percentage should be 25. Yep, there it is. 25. So target rate, so right now the current rate is this rate. I'll, it won't sell until it gets to that rate. Okay. So this is the this is the current rate and this is the target rate. So I don't know what ways it's doing right now. I would have to go to Coinbase, I mean Coin Market Cap and look at it and see what is is it going up? Is it going down today? I don't know. Right now it's in the red. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't looked at the coins today to see if they was coming back up. Let me go look. Coin market cap. Everybody should have that because that's where you see all the coins and stuff. So it's important to have coin market cap. So we're going to look for waves. Let's see what waves is doing today. Because all the, through the weekend, all the coins is red. Oh, look. Coins are back green. So I might hit some of my you know since I got the percentage up higher it should be more money now see we all, I've been learning this since I started on the second so I've been testing different configurations you know so now I see where I went wrong as far as the lowest amount I was getting what I need to do okay so let's go back to waves and see what waves is doing it looks like everything come back in the green today so right now waves is up Do you see what it's looking like? They right here. Waves. And that's where waves is. Let me put on the one minute chart. I'd rather look at the one minute chart than it's really real time. Closer to real time when it's one minute. Looks like we got a little uptick here. We might go up. Looks like we might be going up on waves. Okay. So we'll see. Let's see what historical data on waves. Waves. See, waves been higher than 569. Sometimes I look at that and that tell me, look, waves been six dollars, seven dollars, eight, nine. Waves been up there. So oh, it's been always eleven dollars. Okay. So it's a chance that I'm gonna make my 25% <laughs> on waves because waves have been up there. And then I use this to look and see any social news on that social media. You know, that's why I love Coin Market Cap. Then I can look at you know news and see what's happening. Anything good? Um, you know, about waves and. And what's happening with waves? It's a wallet. Okay. So I can look and see the news. That's why I like this. And then you can see the historical data. Then you can see what marketplace it sells on. And I know I'm on Beatrix with it. So Beatrix has it. B9 have it. I have those. So you can see I have liquid. I have, yeah, hit BTC is on there. But the volume is good on Beatrix because it's number three. <laughs> so we love, love, love this site. Okay. And you can see the rank is number 40. 
it's a coin okay so you can see everything so I have a good chance for that coming up what's another coin that I got on here uh, that I'm waiting on to come up storage S-T-O-R-J let's look for that one S-T-O-R-J storage let's see what storage is doing storage is at a dollar three it's in the green so we got a chance it looks like it's going up I see the little uptick right there yes I do <laughs> So, we have a good chance of making some good money today since these coins hit my target. When they hit my target, then it's then it's my target's done and my storage target is uh right there. 00013 right now is at 00011. I have a good chance hitting my target today. Or um, you know, it looks like it's going up. It looks like it's in the green because I didn't have this one three days because <laughs> it's been red all since Friday. So it's been here, you know. So right now we set our target. Target's done. Okay, so we we gonna set our target higher because we gonna start trying to get some higher profits. We wanna turn turn that two forty. We have worth of coins to 300 okay let's try to do that so that's why we went up to 25 or so. so let's see what's gonna happen but if you have it lower of course it's gonna keep buying and selling because you can get to that target price faster of course because if you look at some of my trade history see how I sold that dent real fast because the target was low so when it came in, it bought it at 11.11 and sold it at 11.18 because it hit the target. And the target was only one zero zero one one two, and it bought it at 00110. So it wasn't that big of a target for it to happen. So it happened. So now that I moved the target to 25%, let's see what's going to happen. You know? I just wanted to see what's going to happen. Now I thought I already had everything on 12, 25%, but it must be something that I didn't do in the config. I mean, I put the 25% in the config, but as you notice on the on the coin info, that I had to change it to 25%. So I, I don't know why I didn't pick it up when I did it in the config. Maybe I got something on the wrong that's not that I had to manually do it from this side you know so so I don't know but anyway just make sure you double check it when you put it in the config side just make sure you, you just come here and do your bulk action just you know that's all that's what I did I just came in here and just hit bulk action and set the percentage because I don't know why I didn't pick it up because remember that one was on 10% so I, I have no idea why I didn't pick it up in the first place. So anyway, so we just, you know, we got to fill it out. We'll probably figure it out sooner or later, but you can always do it that way. Through the ball. Um, yep, so this is it. Man, here goes some signals right here. Short, long. I don't know who you are. Camera. I never heard of none of these before. <laughs> Stotch. So they got signals over here. I don't know what e -A is. Short. Long. Sure, I don't know. I don't even see no um, 
EMA in there. Let me look at the config. I don't understand that one. Either. Um, it might not be on Beatrix because they do the other one, finance, and but I don't have no money in finance, so I had to do the one I had money in. But I don't think they had that coin over here. Now, if you do Binance and something else, they have different coins. You know, they have different things. So, we just going with what we got right now. I need to get some money in some of the other exchanges. Because I could have more than just Beatrix running. Because if you look at your hopper, you could pick, um... Right now, I just got Beatrix stuff. I don't know why I got that on. Okay. Now, if you see the ones with the T, that's for Tether, USDT for USA money. You don't want that because your coins is going to be in Bitcoin, so you want to get the Beatrix Bitcoin one. Okay, the Bunny trial. So you're going to be on the Bunny trial. So right now I'm on the Bunny trial. Then it's showing me I got 14 positions open and I got a minus 2.48 percent right now. You know, until they sell. Um, so that's what it's telling me. But that's what you want. But you you got B Trixie. You got Binance. I did put Binance. I don't know why I put Tether on here. When I should have put um, Bitcoin. But when I want to put a new one, I just hit new. And this is how you put them on. And then I would pick. See this, see this uh, tutorial come up? It teaches you how to find the API for the ones that you want. So, like, if I wanted, I got Binance. Um, <coughs> this is for Tether, though. Uh, I don't see the Binance for. They may have a little problems with Binance, so I don't see it right now. I don't see it. That's only Binance they got. Yeah, I don't see it. It's for the tether. So if you use the tether for Binance, it means you gotta make all your coins tether. You can't have it as DTC. So right now, Polynex got Bitcoin. It's GDAX is on here. GDAX got Euro and USD. Um, then they got Kraken on here. And they got Polynex. So I don't even have a Polynex. They have, they don't have as many coins as the other ones. That's why I probably never got like D9 and Beatrix. I, I was hoping they put Hit BTC on it because I do have that. I like Hit BTC too. So we'll see. But that's how you put them on. That's how you set them up and then you connect them to the API. So once you get them on and then you um connect everything to the um, API that you're using for your Beatrix and see the thing is about Crypto Hopper people don't get it <laughs> it's the software it's not a program Crypto Hopper don't control your Bitcoin or your money you're just connecting your marketplace Beatrix or Binance or Polynex or GDAX or Kraken to this software that's why you use the API key. Every one of these softwares has an API key. They got your secret key and that and you connect it. And any, so every transaction that I had, they showing I bought over here is on Beatrix. It shows that I got it. I, if I turn Beatrix on, I see every single coin that's right on here. Because it's buying off of Beatrix in your behalf. Okay, so your coins stay on your marketplace. Nobody holds your coins in crypto hopper. Okay, it's a software. You know, people so used to, you know, these companies like USI and Big Connect and stuff. This is not a company, it's a software. It they ha they don't even hold your money. Okay. So you you ain't gotta worry about that. You gotta distinguish the difference. Okay, they got tutorial videos here that you can watch. I, I watch the daggone videos. You know, that's how I learned how to do it. Okay, you got 30 day going days on a free trial that you only have to put your credit card in up and then just sign up and do the free trial. And watch the tutorial videos. Okay. 
where I got my configurations from is YouTube. People that already made YouTube videos, like I just showed y'all my configurations, people show their configurations. So all I did was go to YouTube and get their configurations. And that's how I configured this thing. Um, let's see. What else? Um, so they go to Academy, pick, it came up right there. So you can just watch these, they, they keep playing. <laughs> watch those videos they got a support and they got a form I love companies that have forms because people might just want to talk to other people that's, that's doing it so they do have a forum mm -hmm. so you can come and see what they talk about in the forum you know so you can see uh, usually a form is for other people to help you so mostly you know people might say something ain't working or something and you know somebody come help them out and stuff like that that's why I like forms you know I you know it's good when a company has a form you know because that keeps a lot of tech support off of them if you had they have a forum people can ask questions in the forum and other people doing it can help them <laughs> okay like a community so you know I don't know why it's a lot of these companies are getting out of having forums forums are good to have you know when you don't answer tickets you need to have a form <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> you definitely need to have a form if you don't answer tickets um yeah so yeah Bitcoin is very depressing, right? Bitcoin ain't depressing. It's, you just got to play the game. You don't know how to play. <laughs> it's going to go up. It's going to go down. You're going to make your money when you make your money. See, they, he talking about depressing because, you know, all year in 2017, Bitcoin just went up, went up, went up, went up. And around November, it just stopped going up that fast. And which it probably shouldn't have been going up that fast. So, it's, it, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's gonna go up more but at a normal rate <laughs> it's not gonna go up that fast like that um so that's what's good about it it has a forum uh let's see and then you got your subscription settings right now like I said when you start you want a bunny trial And that's what you want. A bunny trial. So right here. I haven't activated it. I had checked it off. But I thought I had $10 in my PayPal. Which I didn't. So, so I didn't finish doing that. I thought I had some money on PayPal. And this one was six ten six. I don't know how many times I clicked that thing. But that's why it's showing up right there. I don't really have no subscriptions really. So once I do get a subscription, it will be, you know, because PayPal makes it hard for you to put money in. And like I go to the store, and so I be like, sometimes I just wait till I sell something, then money come on PayPal. So I got to be bothered with it. And I thought I had some money on PayPal, but I didn't have any on there. And so I didn't get that subscription. But I heard eBay done drop PayPal. They like, nip. And I heard too that they might start adding when people can buy stuff with Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Maybe eBay would be more pleasanter if PayPal was a part of the picture. I don't know. Who knows? I stopped selling on eBay a while ago. I don't know. Who knows? The kids outside today because the weather is halfway nice, you know. Because kids don't get to come out that much because of the weather.
because of the weather and he's been stuck in the house in the rain yeah stuck in the house then they out it's a little yeah the weather because they said Thursday but be 78 yes <laughs> in the middle of February I said well that's some good weather anyway but yeah so we like it you know I try to keep my videos where you know they normal <laughs> so you can halfway understand they not too technical they just normal and teach you how to learn this stuff for yourself that's all I'm doing I'm configuring it I'm learning for myself I'm I really am that person <laughs> that like I learn stuff you know how they work it and what to do with it and stuff like that they do have something on here called back testing if you want to test out different signals um, right here back testing I haven't used the back to it because I say it's a free trial and I didn't have that much Bitcoin and I was just doing a small percentage to see if it works so really I didn't have to do the back testing um, but they do have it if people want to do the back testing you know where it doesn't really use real money <laughs> you know and you can um, do some back testing but I haven't done it just a free trial so anyway, so your free trial is the bunny trial, which is the free trial. So I'm glad they do give a 30 day free trial. Now this is the cheapest Autobot that I have seen. The rest of them out there I've seen, they want you to start with 200 No, the sign in is $200, 300 400 Shoot, this one is free 30 days and then you can do $19 a month if that's what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, it's all good. Um, yeah. So, we like it. I like it because I've been, you know, it's been making good little profit here. And one thing I like about it, like, let's say, you know, I like the way you can see your whole trade history and you can even make it into a PDF or a um, you can make it into a PDF or into a CSV file Excel file you know and you can print it out and you know all that good stuff like that so it makes it easy on you when you want to do when you want to um do stuff i don't know why i can't get this thing to change oh because i'm probably in the wrong hopper let me see <laughs> let me go 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 You gotta make sure you be on the right hopper. I know this is up here. If I'm not on the right one, I can't see this page. So if you ever looking for your stuff and you make sure you up here and you in the bunny trial when you're on the trial. You see at the top of the page. Yep. So right now we just waiting for some positions to lock in and stuff like that. That's all we that's all we waiting for. Yep. Let me look at my trade history for a second. Did something sell? Oh no, nothing sell. So it's dead so 
see right here you can print your S CSV, your Excel, your PDF. So if I want to make this into a PDF, I can hit PDF and then something download it down here. And then I can turn all the transactions into a PDF. See? There go all my transactions. There go all my percentage results. On all, all this. And this is only since the second. This is how many times it's emboldened. So imagine I really had some money in there and we, <laughs> you know, don't want the percentage higher. But it did all that since the second. See? That's when I came in right here. The second. So I got a little while to go on this free trial, but so far so good is doing really well. So I'm gonna leave the link on the video on the description, and y'all can um they do have an affiliate for the software, and if you wanna you know click the link for for me making this video. <laughs> <laughs> be my guest okay but I I really like it um let's see so that's it so this is all what I have done right now if I wanted to print this out I could actually print it out on um, my PDF and have a card copy so I'm gonna print it out anyway just to look at the printout <laughs> see what's going on so I'm with five sheets. I'm going to print it out in my printer. If it's on, I think what's in it. Yep. So we're going to print it out and um, see what's going to happen. And print it out. So I like this. If you can print it out, then you can do it in CS. You know, you can do it in the other format if that's what you want. If you want to do it in. Um, Excel or C CSV, you can do it that way. That's cool. It's all good. So anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about today is Crypto Hopper, the kangaroo. <laughs> and try to get y'all started on this bot because you know the people that work all day and do stuff at work they need something like this hey this stuff buys when I'm sweet sells when I'm sweet you know you see some of these times I ain't up <laughs> at four or something in the morning when it's buying pivots you know I ain't up so you know so this is very good I like this bot I, I really do I, I kind of you know I found it on a humble because I was on surfing YouTube or something and I seen the video. Oh, what did I find it on Google? I think I might found it on Google. And um, I came across it, but I never seen it on YouTube. But when you do go to YouTube, you don't see a lot of people talking about this one, Crypto Hopper. But I like it. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that's why I try to pass things on to you all. So just use my link and get Crypto Hopper and just watch the tutorials, Academy tutorials. Watch that stuff and it teaches you how to do the basic hookup first. Then go to YouTube or watch my video, take my configurations or whatever. But then configure, you know, do the configurations. But the basic stuff is all here because it's being new as it is it's not a lot of youtubers that you know can you know help you out with the configurations where they making thousands and thousands of dollars already because it's new so you get what you get from the youtubers figure out what you figure out you know whatever <laughs> whatever yep so that's it. I'm good. <laughs>